Welcome to Crypto and Coffee in the Morning. I'm Barricade. And I'm Metro. Got a great video for you today. It's a new, something new that we just discovered and working on. Tell us a little bit about it, Metro. Yeah, so we're going to go over this uh, token. It's on the Binance Smart Chain, and it's called Gemspree. All right, so I'm very curious about this project. Metro has gone in depth, and I, he had me do some homework on it as well. So We'll take a look at it. We'll tell you what we think about it, and that'll be. Yeah, put some work into this, so let's get into this. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee. This is good stuff. What are we drinking today? Black Rifle Coffee Company. Oh, snap. We've done them before. Yeah, we've definitely done them before. This is a company we truly believe in, veteran owned, and it's coffee for people who love America. Blackbeard's Delight. So, the reason, way we came to decide this is Blackbeard's a pirate. Pirate's a sailor. Mm. We're sailors. We're sailors. We identify. So, Blackbeard it is. It is a dark roast. So, yeah. a little a little less on the caffeine, but it's pretty delicious. I agree. It's got that fresh taste that I strive for. I really like it. I think the, one, the first video we did with Black Rifle, that's their best coffee in my opinion. I think this is... This has the taste of like uh, pretty close. This has the taste of the woods in it. Um, like if you got a bunch of moss and twigs, and it, it it's got a pretty earthy earthy taste to it. But it's really good. Agreed. So. The chocolate in there. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Before we get started with all the goods about Jim Spree, take please take a moment to like, comment, subscribe this video. We're really trying to grow this channel, this community, and it will really help the algorithm. We are not financial advisors. We do not take the test, but we are crypto enthusiasts, and that's where we feel the right to say what we got to say. So please stick around till the end of this video, because that's when we're going to give you our opinion on Gemspree and Metro. Give us the goods. All right. So right away, let's jump into coin market cap so coin market cap the whole market's in the red but we go to search for gem spree and it's not there sad so, but i did hear that it's going to be on coin market cap soon maybe we'll see we'll see where it goes however it is on coin gecko so we'll go ahead and jump over to coin gecko looking at coin gecko here we have it you want to talk about the socials? All right, the socials. Uh, right now, as we briefly touched on, Jim Spree is really new. It came out early June. Uh, right now, CoinGecko says they do not have any Reddit subscribers. We looked on Reddit, we found it. They have 100 currently, and we did find a lot of spam. So once they get going on it, they'll be able to kick out the spam and whatnot. But other than that, they got 3,789 Twitter followers. Not bad for being so new. And 2,952 Telegram users. And which uh, is also not bad. It's not bad, yeah. The Telegram is blowing up all the time. And on Reddit, it was it was a little disappointing to see all the spam. But it is what it is. 100 users, uh, brand new. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and move on to... The BSC scan. Let's check out the wallet addresses, how many coins and everything. So we're sitting at one quadrillion tokens. Uh, this is on the Binance Smart Chain. We've got 5,842 wallet holders, which is, it's good for a new coin. Uh, nothing like our favorite coin, Safe Safe moon. Moon. with over 2 million. It's like 2.8 million or something. Anyway, uh, continuing forward, we got Pancake Swap with 34%. That's that's good liquidity. 
Okay? Yes. And then we got the burn address at 30%, which is, in my opinion, good. And then we got a couple uh, large wallets, but they are contract. So we've got 9% in one, 5% in another, and then 1.5% in another. What concerning, what's concerning to me is the, these other wallets down to about 36 or 37 that hold more than 1%. There's a lot of 2% addresses, uh, a lot of 1% addresses, and that's a one, 1 trillion tokens in those. Uh, that's a lot. Yes, it is. So uh, the, the tokens are spread out in, in not such a favorable uh, oh, way. However, it is still new. So let's go ahead and check out their homepage here. So this is their homepage. And this is where uh, they do their advertising and everything. So what is Gemspree? Gemspree is, uh, they're trying to be a marketplace for NFTs. They're also trying to do like um, promotions for other coins. Like other coins will get on their homepage, put up banners, uh, advertisement, and, uh, advertisement and all that. So we can see that there's already some coins here. Of course, they are the coins that, and tokens that you're not gonna really know of. It's brand new stuff. Anything that's like just created, this is where they go to advertise. So scroll through here, let you guys see. They also have the buy gems. Uh, moving forward, we're gonna go to their actual homepage, like the Gemspree, Gemspree homepage for the token. We can see that they had Tyler Hill, another YouTuber, do the do something on them. Uh, Stephen Clark, another YouTuber, great guy actually. I, yeah. I like watching his stuff. <laughs> but yeah, Stephen Clark did it. And uh, yeah, so they have the coin market cap loading right there because they want to get on coin market cap. They already have the uh, coin gecko. Uh, this token can be purchased on Pancake Swap. And yes, so let's get into some of the features that I really like about this coin. Tokenomics. The tokenomics is split kind of like our favorite coin, SafeMoon. It's got a 10% tax uh, with every transaction. 5% uh, of that is reflections or like half of that 10% is reflection. And then the other half is 1% goes into marketing, 1% uh, for charity and 3% for liquidity. That's all perfect numbers. If I was looking at any other coin with this, it's perfect numbers. We got a marketing, which 1% is fabulous. Yes. Marketing is so important for... For anybody. For anybody. Anybody trying to create something. Right, and then liquidity is fantastic because you need the liquidity and charity. Charity is just awesome, and it is what it is. Yeah, we definitely support companies that do charities and whatnot. Like, we care about fellow fellow people. Right. So let's move on to the utility of this token. What is the utility of this token? Well, they have a lot of stuff on their website here, and feel free to check it out. But uh. A lot of it is still loading. A lot of it is still new. They're still updating. They're still trying to figure out what they're gonna use the token for. So they uh, still got a lot of work ahead of them, but yep, they're trying to do the NFTs, uh, trying to get the charity stuff on there, um, staking, e-commerce, uh, charting tool. The charting tool on their Telegram, they keep talking about. Yeah. it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. But like W E N. You know, like W H E N. When, when, <laughs> when, you know, when, when charting tool. Like, so hopefully they have that in the roadmap. We'll see. Let's go ahead and take a look at their roadmap. And we got their roadmap here phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. What have they already done? It's super hard to tell on here. They um, don't have the check marks. But what I do enjoy from other co tokens that we've researched is their phases. Are kind of put up in the quarters. Like if these were put in the quarters, like quarter yeah. one to twenty like twenty one, like yeah, quarter one, quarter two. Yeah, I like that too. Um, some of the stuff on here you can see has already been done. The pre-sale, the initial marketing, the poo coin stuff, the poo coin ads, uh, pancake swap listing. It's already on pancake swap now. So they're they're getting it. The coin gecko, that's perfect, and the logo. They got their logo going. Um, they want to do phase two, major marketing, um, first charity donation. They haven't done that yet. And then uh, also going into phase three with the NFT marketplace, which if they can, if they can steal 80, 80, about 80% of the NFT marketplace, 
or if they get theirs first, if they get to the NFT marketplace first, 80%, they're most likely going to keep that and be very profitable. Yes. So we'll see how that works out. And then phase four, we got some stuff here that says to be determined. We'll see where that goes. All right. And then lastly, with Gem Spree, what do we like to see with all of our uh, tokens or coins? Transparency. White pages. White pages. So let's, let's let's take a quick peek. Yeah, let's look at their white page. So jumping into their white page, it it looks it looks all right. It it explains what Gemspree is. It explains tokenomics. It explains the di distribution for profits, and uh, also talks about how it's an advertisement platform. It talks about the charities, the uh, utility, which. We previously mentioned it's under development because they don't have it just yet. Coming, Coming soon. soon. Yep, e-commerce. Loving the whole idea here. Um, but that's about it. It's a pretty simple white page. Yeah, it's got a lot of nice graphics and mm -hmm. whatnot. So I th think they put too much effort into the graphics, the design and whatnot, and not enough into not enough the, the information. Meat. I need the meat and the potatoes. Yep. And a nice beer. And they're serving us bacon, which is okay. It's not bacon's not bad. Bacon, but, but it's, it's not a steak, and it's not loaded hash browns. No, so. Yeah, it's hash browns from the freezer, in my opinion. And all right, we're drinking water instead of beer. So, shall we move into our opinion of this coin then? Yes. All right. So, with all the information that we were able to find, first I would like to talk about is the transparency. Do you know what the oh gosh look like? no the uh, so probably the biggest thing I don't like about this token so far is the transparency. Where's the team? Who's the team? Where's the social media profiles? It doesn't. It's just not there. They're, they're not transparent with the yeah. team. So transparency is not there yet for us. Um, the utilities aren't quite there. I like that it's. Uh, marketing I like that mm -hmm. it's I like that it's getting into the emerging uh, field yeah uh, I Ad like advertising yeah so like it's got some good stuff it's got some stuff that we're not quite there yet like it's our, definitely it's definitely a high risk investment if you choose to go that route like our channel we like we invested just a little bit into it but it's more, it's going to be a hit or miss, and it's not enough to cry ourselves to sleep if we lose. We'll see where they go. Uh, I, I think it would be a great, uh, great profit with very little into it, but they really got to go somewhere with what they have. Yes. So. They, they got some good YouTubers that are advertising it, like... They got two YouTubers that we both watch, one that we really like and respect. And so they got that going for them. But it's just not enough yet for us to want to recommend it because we want our viewers right. so with, to succeed. So with everything we just said, you make the choice. We Remember, like we said, we're not financial advisors. You make the choice. It does look like a good project. looks fantastic. looks phenomenal biggest issue is the transparency and and the utility and the utility and i think with that uh until next time there, there you, you have, have it, it.